other day I talked about five misconceptions about artists and I thought I would talk about five artist stereotypes today and I would link that into what I talked about in my last discussion video because misconceptions and stereotypes are very similar but there are also differences as well. So for me as an artist, I have seen firsthand how artists are stereotyped and there are so many things that I feel fall under this category, but for this video, I'm just picking out the five biggest stereotypes that I have faced or seen as an artist, but I'm sure that there are many more that I haven't mentioned in this video. But anyway, the first artist stereotype I wanted to talk about is the idea that art isn't a real job. This is something I hear a lot and have experienced myself, and I'm not going to lie, but it is something that bothers me, because as a self-employed artist, art is a real job, and it's as real as any other job. So for me, I have two jobs, but my real job is being an artist. I feel that is what I'm meant to do and that's what's important to me but a lot of the time people won't show an interest or understanding in my work. I've had some people ask me when I'm going to get a real job and as I have two jobs people will always ask me about my other job but never my art business and for a long time it really hurt my feelings because I felt like I wasn't being taken seriously and appreciated as an artist when actually it is a real job and it's the path that I've chosen for my life and also as I do run my own business I understand just how much work goes into running a business and it's something that I don't feel a lot of other people understand so linking what I've just said with the next artist stereotype I want to mention and again this is something that I hear a lot and that is that art is just for fun and this really ties into the whole idea that artists aren't hard working in fact they're quite lazy and art is relaxing and this is a stereotype that I feel is completely wrong even when I was at school hands down art although it was my favorite subject was the hardest subject I did because of how much time and effort goes into producing producing artwork. So even the exams, in my last couple of years of secondary school, we had to do 15 hour exams. And now as an artist running my own business, it can be incredibly stressful producing artworks. A lot goes into just one piece of artwork. Some of my drawings have taken me around 20 hours to complete, which is mentally and physically exhausting. And I also know how much work goes into setting up and running a business, like I've just said. It's not straightforward. And actually, I really admire artists because I know firsthand how hard it really is to be an artist. So of course art can be fun and if I didn't enjoy it then I wouldn't do it and I wouldn't have a career in it but there's a lot of blood, sweat and tears that go into art as well. So the third stereotype that I hear all of the time is this idea of the starving artist and I'm not sure whether you have heard this before but I hear all of the time that if you are an artist then you're practically flat broke and again this is a stereotype that I don't feel is true at all. You absolutely can have a good income and lifestyle as an artist. There may be times when it can be quite hard to make money as an artist so for example if you are just starting out as an artist and have quite a lot of established artists to compete with or maybe you were trying to sell artworks during quiet months, so such as January, where a lot of people aren't spending a lot of money after Christmas. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your financial situation will always stay that way. There will be many opportunities for you to earn a comfortable living as an artist. So on the opposite end of the spectrum to being a starving artist, a lot of people also think that artists are incredibly wealthy and that they are made of money. And again, this is a stereotype that is completely wrong. As an artist you can make a comfortable living and I just don't like the idea that artists are stereotyped in the sense that it's either one extreme or the other when it comes to money and earnings. A lot of people don't really feel that there is a middle ground when it comes to earning money as an artist when actually that there is. You know it's great that so many people do earn a really luxurious living from art but there are a lot of people that are in the middle and live comfortably as well. So last but definitely not least, the fifth artist stereotype I hear a lot is that all artists are introverts. So they are very reserved, reclusive, a little bit depressed and just really keep themselves to themselves. So this stereotype really does link into emotions and feelings and it's a stereotype that I have experienced myself and it's not necessarily true. I think that there are a lot of people that maybe do turn to art for a release, so myself included. Sometimes I just feel that I do need to be left alone and I do find art therapeutic and an escape sometimes but I do also have other things going on in my life too and I do have a life outside of art as well. 
So I'm actually a very outgoing person and I have a lot of interests. So to label someone just because they like art and art is seen as a very personal thing to me just seems really unfair. I know a lot of artists that are very sociable, friendly, outgoing, bubbly and have a lot going on in their lives and I really wouldn't stereotype them as being introverts just because they are an artist. But anyway, those were the five artist stereotypes that I feel are quite often wrong. But what do you think? Do you have any artist stereotypes that you feel are wrong? Or are there some stereotypes that you feel ring true? Let me know what your thoughts are on this topic in the comments section below. But just remember that this is a fun topic of discussion and to encourage a friendly debate. So please be mindful and respectful of other people's comments as well. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's discussion. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an update from me. I upload art related videos three times a week and I have a list of all of the materials, products and equipment that I use in the description box down below. But anyway I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye everyone!